because different segments of the aorta act differently, our recommend, recommendations about when to operate depend on which portion of the aorta is involved. And so the descending aorta can often tolerate a little bit larger size before it becomes dangerous. Different than what we've seen with the ascending aorta where there was a hinge point in the curve at around six centimeters, the risk for having a complication related to an aneurysm of the descending aorta typically occurs out at seven centimeters. And so the standard recommendation of when we operate on someone's descending aorta is six centimeters. As I mentioned previously for the ascending aorta, there are certain subsets of patients who we think this curve is shifted to the left. That includes patients with a family history of aortic disease, someone who's survived an aortic dissection, someone with connective tissue disorder like Marfan's, Loewy's Dietz syndrome, et cetera. And so in those folks, We'll often, recommending, uh, we'll often recommend operating on the aorta when it's a bit smaller, like five and a half centimeters. Another important thing to understand is that not only do we look at the absolute size of the aorta when, when we recommend an operation for it or try to predict what the risk of having a complication from your aneurysm is, but we also look at the rate of growth. And so it's important when you've had multiple imaging studies of your aorta because it's not big enough to operate on is to understand the trends over time. If we see that the aorta has grown more than five millimeters in one year's time, we consider that a rapid amount of growth and we'll generally recommend an operation on that section of aorta. For every person though, it's always important that we understand that we have to balance the risk of surgery against the risk of rupture or dissection. And so when you're healthy, these numbers often apply. In some people with a lot of comorbidities or other reasons why the risk of surgery might be higher than normal, we might tolerate a little bit larger size in their aorta before we recommend an operation.